AM 970 WSTX. All right, here we are back at WSTX. AM 970, another great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent Thursday. Laying a solid and fantastic foundation for all you Friday worshipers. But remember, it starts with Thursday. And we have with us here a magician, Mr. Johnny Damon. Hey, you saw it on Facebook. I told you he was going to be here working all kind of magic. He told me he was going to figure out how to take some of this carpet, cut out a piece, and turn it into gold. So I said I had to be here because definitely I'm going to leave WSTX a richer man today. But I know I have to see that one. Anyhow, welcome to WSTX. Welcome to Reflection, sir. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. All right. All right. I'm excited. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> Fantastic. But before you go off into anything, the first thing I want to know is, is your journey to learning about magic and being able to, to do those things that wow people. How did it come into your mind? How did you get captivated? How did you get into it? Okay. Um, well, I actually went to high school on, on this island, moved to St. Croix when I was 15. And uh, at, at around 17 is when I really... Uh, saw magic on TV for the first time, and it just became a passion of mine. It kind of became an obsession, really. And um, after, ever since that, uh, I just started creating magic on my own. Um, you know, throughout my entire you know senior year, and you know, just any little thing I can find. You know, like rubber bands, pencils. You know, any little thing I can I can find. I was doing magic with it, creating magic, and didn't really know what to do with it. So when I went to MagicCon, uh, which is a convention in San Diego, it's like Comic Con but for magic. Mm -hmm. um, I debuted a. Uh, uh, three of my effects over there, and it was some of the best things that they've seen. They'd seen at the time. This was in 2009, and uh, ever since that, started working with guys like David Blaine, uh, Penn and Teller to produce their magic, uh, to create magic on television, uh, put stuff out on. I've been a part of stuff on uh, Discovery Channel, Travel Channel, and yeah, ever since then, that's it's been me. All right, all right. Uh I see that um, you have some stuff here on... on there's an E in my so name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, I got it wrong. Yeah. There's, a, um, there's some stuff here on YouTube mm -hmm. for those who are interested in, in following and seeing... Um, yeah, I mean, my YouTube channel, we usually film all of my live shows and the things that I've done on, you know, uh, little television bits, live shows, that kind of thing. Uh, I also like like to go out and just shoot magic on the street, you know, when, wherever I'm at, like if I'm in a city or something. I just like to do that, so that's that's usually what's on the on the channel. Okay, good, good. All right. Well, just so that those who want to to follow along mm -hmm. can learn a, a little bit about Johnny Damon and and his skill and craft as he practices. Okay, and so we got quite a few things here. Yeah. I'm here for folks to 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 look at. All right, all right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if you had to say um, one performance that you look back on that somehow had a, a greater significance than you just practicing the art, mm -hmm. maybe it's somebody you worked with or something, an experience uh, in, in another country right. or travel or whatever related to, to your practice of magic? Uh, well, you know, it's always the saying, like, you always remember your worst performances, right? But <laughs> the thing is, yeah, no, the, the things where the thing went wrong is, is what's, it's what's always on my mind. But I will say, um, performing for Stevie Wonder was was uh, was really interesting for me because he, you know, you had to do stuff with his, with his mind. So I, I, I would have him, you know, think of something and then uh, do that for him. So it was, that was unique for me. I mean, I mean, just meeting him and, you know, the, the whole, experience of that and everything that was that was pretty special okay yeah fantastic fantastic okay anyhow well one of the one of the, the good things about uh, your being on this show is that uh, as well as introducing folks to, to the YouTube presentations mm -hmm. everything that, that we're doing here is, is being memorialized and video so that you have it to, to on YouTube to be able to have people make the, the, the St. Croix connection in, in particular. Absolutely. So you, you finished high school here or you went off to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I graduated uh, Country Day here. Country before, Day. Before they, they joined. Before yeah. they joined. <laughs> well, you know, that's an interesting thing, you know. Right. Um, country Day didn't exist as Country Day.
day before there was just Good Hope School. Mm -hmm. Way back when. I, right. I know because I was there. Yeah, we were, we were right. We all right. one. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then something happened and you had these, you know, like, hope, you know, thankfully it wasn't a Cain and Abel type of event, right. but there was a split mm -hmm. and you had Country Day form up. And now right. here it goes, you know, yeah, back again. Back together again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one big family. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Full so, uh, where, where was your, your first uh, um, performance? you would call your first professional opportunity after you left Singapore? After I left Singapore, okay. Um, well, I, I, you know, what, when I graduated uh, high school, I didn't really know that magic was going to be my career yet. You know, it was just something that I know I was good at, but I didn't really know how to make it into a business or a career. So I was just, you know, doing, you know, open mic nights. I would do, like, uh, some stage bits for, like, small people in, in my college. I went to Iowa State. So, uh, you know, that's the thing, you know, you graduate college, you, I mean, you graduate school, you go to college. That's what everybody tells me. So at the time, that's what I was doing. I was just literally just walking around uh, small circuits, uh, open mic nights, that kind of thing, just, you know, honing my craft. And I would think they is, it is what I told you uh, at Magicon. That was the biggest stage I was put on from from really, you know, from, from nothing really. Uh, it, I was in front of 2,000 of the best magicians in the world. And, you know, it's, it's, it was almost by accident because I met a guy called Banachek, uh, who I think is one of the, the best mind readers in the world at the time, and he just gave me 15 minutes at the end of his lecture to go on because everybody came to see Banachek really, and you know I met him before he went on. And he was just like, you know, I showed him a couple of my things, and he was just like, yo, can I get uh, a little bit of time after your set to show myself? And he was like, yeah, for sure, fine. And you know, it I really kind of owe him my career really because if it wasn't for that, I don't really know if I would have done everything I've, I've done before because he really gave me my first exposure in front of you know some of the best minds of magic all right that's fantastic yeah. and you know and that's what you have to do you have to to be aggressive to some extent yeah. and you never know when somebody will say yes you just gotta keep trying and as I as I tell these younger folks all the time if you mm -hmm. don't ask you can't get exactly okay <laughs> and you ask and they say no well hey nothing beat a, a try but a failure so mm -hmm. at least try yeah. so and, and exactly. I'm, I'm glad that that uh, you you're here today to share that experience mm -hmm. okay so now um, in terms of in terms of, uh, uh, let's say uh, someone thinks that they're interested in magic and learning more about it, mm -hmm. what would what would you tell? What would you be? What would you suggest that they do in terms of find out more about it? Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, uh, no. The thing is, the thing is, if you're if you're if you are meant to do this, you will already know. You know, like magic is a, is a thing. I, I always I always tell people this. Like I didn't find magic. Magic found me. Because it is a it is something like when you when you do it it is it has to be a passion it has to be something that you you are really obsessive about because the thing is the work to become great at it is so much work unless you are it is your passion you're just gonna you're just gonna put it to the wayside it has to be something that you are doing day after day after day and you don't consider it as work so if that is the case then. Uh, you know, just, I, I will tell you this, like, you can't learn it from a book, you can't learn it from, uh, you can't be an artist from a book, is what I'm saying, uh, or from another teacher. You can learn the basic found foundational skills from a mentor or a book or something like that, but to, there comes a point where in your performing, you, you stop uh, trying to receive something from an audience and you try to give them something. And when you have that message, when you have that that material that you can give to an audience that's really what you're okay. what you're about so to answer your question it's literally just creating your own material and be, and being very very good at it yeah well you, you you said something there and 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 i want to come back to to that word work mm -hmm. see i remember when um uh the mtv first started out in my in, in my mind when i first saw it mm -hmm. and um a lot of folks were saying, I'm going to do that, I'm going to dance, and I'm mm. going to be famous. Right. And whenever I have a chance to, to, to talk with some of these aspiring folks, and I say, you know, they didn't just wake up one day and do this. They had some degree of talent, mm. or they developed their talent. And when they got there, for those 10 slots that 
that dance group ultimately became, mm -hmm. there were a hundred, maybe two hundred people auditioning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so that means that you just don't walk up and say, I'm going to run a race and win. Mm -hmm. You have to practice. You have to develop your skill. You have to repeat and repeat and repeat so that the areas you're weak, you get stronger in. The areas you're good, you get better in. And that is nothing other than work. So exactly. work isn't necessarily going to McDonald's or going to GM or going to, to an office. Mm -hmm. It's what you do to, to hone your craft, right. and that's work. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody want to be famous. Nobody want to put in the work. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it's. I've had discussions with some magicians too. It's like, you know, you see someone get a an hour special on NBC or ABC or something, and you say, oh, that guy, I'm I'm a thousand times better than him. Like, how is he? Uh, how is he there? And I'm uh, and I'm here. And I'm, you know, I should have been the one getting getting mm -hmm. the hour on NBC, and then. You, and then you ask them, well, did you did you call? Did you meet with the head of NBC? Did you make an appointment? Did you make right, a meeting? Right. And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay, so how do you expect it? To, how you expect to get it? That guy made the call. Okay. <laughs> so in terms of um, local local performances, mm -hmm. you're gonna be here for a while. You're going yeah. uh, running away to the states, to Europe, mm -hmm. uh, Australia, anytime soon. <laughs> what what what's going on with Johnny Damon and? In, on St. Croix. Mm, on St. Croix, well, I do a show every Sunday at Divi in the lobby uh, at Divi out there. I usually do a Blues Backyard Barbecue as well. I'm there on Fridays. Uh, okay, wh where is that? That's in that's in Princess. It's okay, a, yeah, right. It's a, See, I, I know outdoor, the place. I know the place. Yeah. I don't know the name of the place. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a barbecue place. Right, there. Yeah, right. I, I usually okay. do a close-up magic around the bar. Okay. Uh, there on Fridays, you know, diff different spots pick me up at different times too. Like a resort will call me, say, come come through and do a show. Maybe like at the Palms or the Carambola. Place like uh, last week, I did Lost Dog at uh, on Thursday. So. Yeah, I'm always I'm always around. So you know, if you follow me on on Twitter or Facebook, I'm always posting wherever I'm going to be. All right. Yeah. Well, as far as far as the national stuff that I'm doing, I'm I'm co-producing and I'm writing for Penn and Teller. I just finished doing that. Uh, I wrote for Penn and Teller's uh, Fool Us, which is actually airing right now. Okay. And uh, that's that's going to be it's the ninth and tenth episode. So okay. That's what I worked on. Well, what what I want you to do is, is um, send me an email or a text mm -hmm. with some of the, the, the information that you're telling me here because that okay. way we can uh, include it in, in the video up on the screen so folks can Absolutely. see and, and know and and, um, and let's keep in touch because if if uh, if we can I'd like to to catch a couple of your acts. Mm -hmm. And get a little bit of footage and incorporate it into this this um, this conversation. Okay, you, want, you want to see something? Well, the, uh, of course <laughs> I want I want to see something, yeah. but I also want to catch you at at, at DV mm -hmm. or sometime when you're at Lost Dog because uh, until you said that, mm -hmm. I never knew. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. I I never knew. So yeah. now it's just one of those things. Uh, so Sunday it's around what time? It's eight. eight, 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 eight yeah, eight, we do. Eight, a, eight? Yeah, it's a it's a full stage show. Um, we do like I bring speakers and you know mics and everything, and we sort of like convert the lobby into like a small theater. Okay. So it's the lobby, the lobby upstairs. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I got I, I got some young people that would be more than happy yeah. to come on by yeah. and, and and check it out. And that's about an hour show, so it's it's worth your time and it's free. Just come by, have a drink, sit down. All right, yeah. I, I, I'm going to put it on my list of things to do, my continual list of things to do, because one of the things we talk about in here is what's going on on, on St. Croix. And because yeah. anything bad happens, you hear about it for the next six weeks. Repeat, yeah. repeat, repeat, <laughs> repeat. But there's a lot of good and positive things going on in the community. Absolutely. And, and in, in particular, this is something that is a nice escape, uh, a nice something different to do and it's like wow it's all there mm -hmm. if you know about it right and now we know mm -hmm. okay fantastic there well, you go. i'm so glad that you got in touch with wstx and we're able to make it onto the show mm -hmm. so show me a thing or two <laughs> okay, camera's let's, running all right let's do this okay so uh do you have what do you have on you do you have like any change or a, like a dollar or, like, oh my coins? goodness no you're showing me up no <laughs> 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 You're showing me up now, okay? You see, I got this this teenager, and you know, um, daddy, please for twenty dollars. It's like who tell you I got twenty dollars? <laughs> <Yeah, but laughs> or 
or the last time around it's like okay this is my last twenty dollars okay and yeah, i owe somebody else ten so awesome. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's what we'll uh it's what we'll do um you said you it, also you have your phone right there right yeah you know what we'll, we'll try something with the with the bill first and right? by by the way the twenty dollars and ten belong to somebody else i never <laughs> got back the other ten awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what we got right here, you just handed me a, a dollar bill right here. You can see everything all good. All I'm going to do is I'm just put a crease in it just like this, all right? Mm -hmm. So, and we also, like I said, you have the phone right here. So watch. You know, like, objects have centers of gravity, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see, like, your phone has a better weight to it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if we just balance, there should be a point where this works, right? You'll see this happen. And look. Can you see? Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? How it just it just stays on the bill just like that? Hey folks, WSTX, you yeah. heard and saw it here first. A and magic and, in the yeah, studio. Yeah. Hold out your hand for me. Hold out your hand. <laughs> yeah, just make sure that, that is just your dollar and a phone. Yeah, make sure. Yeah, make no, sure, no, no, no. Sure no. Everything it's, is good. Everything yeah. is fine. You, no. can, you can check everything. <laughs> sure. No, that no. There ain't, ain't no metal bar in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's interesting. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Folks, I told you it was going to be magical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, let me see the, uh, the, the you know, uh -huh. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try something right here. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to get you, uh, let me just get you a pen right here. I think I should have a marker on me. Um, let me see. Hang on. That's permanent. No, that's permanent. It's permanent. Okay, good. So, yeah, just hold on to this one. Mm -hmm. All right. That's permanent, right? Excellent. So, can I just get you on the, um, on the back of your bill right here, can I just get you to sign your name? And we can get the other cameras doing that. Okay. Yeah. So this way you know this is your bill now. I'm not going to swap it out or anything, right? Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, that's so what we'll do. Yeah, I'll take that out for you. Yes, that's right. So, you can see uh, on this bill that you had to me. Now, the thing is, uh, you know, like, all the bills have, the, they have features on them, right? Like, different kinds of paper, inks, threads, and that kind of thing, right? So, but on the bills, there are some things that some people don't know about. So do you see on this bill that you get me right here, there's a two? Yep. Yeah. Do you know what the two stands for? The two actually stands for the letter of the alphabet, and it's, it's the way that the, that the sort of like the Federal Reserve keeps track of where their bills are, because the two right there represents the letter of the alphabet. So B is the second letter of the alphabet, and B is what starts the serial number right there, and also B is what's in the little insignia right here as well. So if that was a three, it'd be a C and a C. That's always true. You can check every, every bill. I'd say, and every sort of state has their their own code. So like B is New York, and you can see it written right here in the insignia. So here's what, we, here's what we'll do. So we have your bill right here. We can actually try something right here with the insignia right here on your bill. So can I just get you, do you see the one right there? Mm -hmm. Actually this one. Can I just get you to pinch on right there for me, just hold on tight? Excellent. So you see my thumb, right? Mm -hmm. Watch the insignia, look. There's nothing on my thumb. Well watch the insignia, look. On your bill. See if I just get the insignia right here, I just rub, you'll see it start to happen, look. See if I just rub the bill, look. Watch. It disappeared. <laughs> oh my oh my and folks it's the same dollar bill and that's okay yours. That's yours. And so as you can see the insignia was here and now it's over there all right just make sure when i go they don't they don't reject my dollar okay <laughs> all right okay fantastic that's fantastic all right folks i told you it was going to be magical and we having we having Johnny Damon here show us a few things in in the process, you know. And I'm really I'm really glad to hear about your your professional encounters and the opportunities that that you had along the way. You know, the uh, uh, just the other day is the first time I got to see the the now you see me now you don't movie right. okay and and I actually worked on on part one, you know. Okay, yeah, fantastic. I, I, I was I was on set for that. If you if you notice the uh, the first bit where. Where Dave Franco bends a spoon on the boat. Um, uh, that's I have to go back. And yeah, look. yeah, it's right in the opening bits. Um, it's that was my effect. Oh, it, really? Yeah, uh, I was actually I was not even working on the movie. I was just on set uh, with a friend of mine, uh, Wayne Houchin, who was working on the movie. And you know, the, the producers were just with Wayne, just asking him, like, do you have something that Dave could just do over and over and over again, and it doesn't really require that much that much skill mm -hmm. and everything and, and and he was just like okay what do you want like you know like maybe like a like a coin bending or like a spoon bending or something like that and then the, you know there were complex because magicians this, this is a trick that magicians do all the time it's like metal bending right mm -hmm. so the the thing is to do it 
really well. It takes a lot of skill, and you know, Dave didn't really have that time on him. And also the uh, other complicated methods on the market, you know, it's not really that resettable and all that stuff. So, um, we, me and Wayne, we just went back to the hotel. We fashioned up a quick thing out of like fish tank hose and you know mm -hmm. pliers and everything, and we just put it all together and came back. And I gave him what what they um, what they what they asked for as spoon man because we just made it, and it ended up being on the on the on the actual final take of the movie. Yeah, movie. so okay, I'm gonna work. go back and yeah. look, look for that, folks. That's yeah, fun. there's a movie. Now you see me. Now you don't. Mm -hmm. I was on TV uh, a couple of months ago, but otherwise you got Netflix and everything else. It's there. Look it up and take a look. All mm -hmm. right. So it, that's fantastic, and I'm glad that you're saying those things because there's a word. It's called networking. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you know, you, you want to be in a particular profession, then get to know people in the profession. Hang out with those people in the profession. Definitely. Look for the opportunities in that profession. It just means that you got to get out there. Mm -hmm. They don't just come to you. Yeah. <laughs> you got to surround right. yourself by people you want to you, you want to see yourself being. Right? A exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. And 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 that's that's um that's a wonderful and important statement right there. You got to surround yourself with folks who uh, going where you want to go uh, or being what you want to be so if if they're doing things that aren't positive you know I got a, I got a teenage daughter and I tell her I said you hanging out with friends if you see them doing things they shouldn't be doing you just tell them I'll meet you all later or something you just extricate yourself and go someplace else okay. and then if you find that your friends just getting into these negative things and you maybe you need some new friends exactly okay because they're not taking you any place positive in, in that regards okay yeah, there's so, a known thing, uh, if you're the, as it go, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so exactly, because yeah, yeah. you're not there, being there's, challenged. Yeah, there's no learning. To yeah, be there's yeah. no challenge, yeah. and, and this, is, this is part of what it, you know, it takes, but you got to tell folks because telling them is part of opening their minds. Exactly. It's all about opening minds, and uh, that's, that's one of the things that I, I like about magic is that Magic does a lot of things that you can't do. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Right. That's not possible, but mm -hmm. you got to open up your mind mm -hmm. and then to understand the brain. Exactly. That's to bring right. things full circle, mm -hmm. the word confusion. The human brain is a very interesting, uh, uh, very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. uh, some of magic is involved in the brain. Mm -hmm. And some of it is involved in, in, in sleight of hand. Exactly. And um, how, do, how, how do you look at that? Do you, uh, you, you kind of delve in both worlds in terms of the magic that you do? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it doesn't matter if the thing is, is sleight of hand based or if it's psychological or, or wh what it, whatever it is, because all magic has to, has to stem from, from a point where it is going to be psychological because the the whole thing is there everything about magic is psychological because there's it, it's taking sort of like the processes of the brain is, is how I how I, I think magic works and you know there's lots of train of thoughts about this but it is going from like point A to point D in the spectator's mind and you know the, the thing is um, you know, Spectre might think, okay, you have somebody pick a card, that's point A, you have them put it back in the deck, that's point B, I make a ba magical pass over the deck, point C, and then it's in my pocket, point D, right? And so you could see the clear line in the Spectre's mind. But really, uh, the line might be, okay, so point A was there, and then maybe something else happened that you didn't see, which is up here, and then, you know, something else happened here, and then, you know, things happen here. So it's not really a straight line, like what, but it is what you're putting into the, into the Spectre's mind. Right. Because it, it's all about your, your point of focus, the intelligence that you have to recognize uh, when something is going on versus, you know, being able to, to spot something that's happening. Because, you know, I can, I can watch another magician perform and see his moves happening. Another person who doesn't know about it will watch the same thing and say, I, I didn't see anything. Because, you know, it's, it's that sort of bell curve that you, that you plot the, uh, the effect on. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is everything to do with... Uh, with what you know and how you perceive the world around you because another thing as well somebody from two different cultures can watch the very same effect 
one person can say, oh, nice trick, the other one can worship you as a god. Mm-hmm. You know, so the it's it's really, it's all psychological, in so, my opinion. Okay, all right, mm-hmm. good, good. Well, I, I, I am looking forward to checking out your, your performance. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be at, at DV since yeah. that's that's a regular. Mm-hmm. Actually, if, if we can get another caller and we can uh, we can try some of them over the phone. Okay, yeah, well, so the, the thing is, yeah, yeah. There, there were two callers and one, the one hung up while we up with the other one. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the, the, the in, importance of, okay, let's, let, let me ask you a question. In mm-hmm. terms of, we have a caller on the line. Mm-hmm. And you you are doing magic with somebody on the line. Mm-hmm. Okay, so their imagination is wholly woven into this because, okay. in essence, you're plant you're planting images mm-hmm. through the conversation exactly. in in their mind. Exactly. And we come back to to, to imagination. We we're mm-hmm. talking about that a little bit earlier today, especially in in, in our young people. And uh, have have you ever? Uh, had the opportunity, let's say, at, at any of our uh, institutions, schools, or clubs to do demonstrations for, for our young people? Yeah, uh, I've done a couple performances over at UVI. I've done schools around the, the Virgin Islands as well. So, okay. yeah, I've done this. Okay, well, I, I got your number now. Yeah. <laughs> I got your number, okay? So, uh, definitely one of these days over at at um, Boys and Girls Club, let's say, yeah, you're going to be the headliner, yeah. okay, and bring them in, and, 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 and they'll, they'll, they'll be there, definitely, and uh, we have uh, King Darby and his, uh, his youth that he works with, mm-hmm. for instance, and other organizations around there, and I say, yeah, they'll be there to see it, and they're, they're going to be there mm-hmm. trying to figure out how you did this and did that, and I'm looking forward to that, because mm-hmm. it involves imagination, mm-hmm. and, and sometimes it involves science mm. and and other aspects of things that they're dealing with in school and if mm. you could get them to make the connection then the school becomes even more re- relevant exactly. to them in, in in that sense yeah yeah i mean All right uh hands-on learning is 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 key man i mean you know you could learn about something in a psychology book and you'd be like okay i can never see how that'll work but if you see it demonstrated it's a whole new different thing meet uh, a person yeah. with a condition mm-hmm. or the, the frame of mind or whatever and yeah. all of a sudden it makes sense and that's really mm-hmm. that, that's really what my work revolves around really it's it's it is taking these things that you know some people pass over or take for granted but you know if you if you just study them you know like nlp the autonomic response system of the brain everything you, you can play with that mm-hmm. immensely Fantastic, fantastic. All right. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing some of these things as a matter of personal entertainment as, long as, as well as bringing along these young people and letting them see and giving them a little, a little wow or something different. Because, first of all, I could imagine in their mind it's like, and he been doing this here for how long now? How come we didn't know about it? You yeah, know yeah. why? We're going to make sure that people know about it yeah. now and come, and, and, and come on out and, and definitely... Uh, hopefully next time around when now you see me now you don't free comes right. out that we'll have and our local Virgin time. Islands yeah. in the cast and we yeah. can be there rooting for our Tim Duncan of magic mm. good man I like it, I like it. alright can we try something oh right, most right, definitely yeah, real, real quick can mm-hmm. I get you to think of a, of a word maybe it can be uh, a word that you that means something to you or maybe like a name a friend a family member something you have an emotional connection to just get a to get a word or a name in mind. Mm. Yeah, and don't, don't tell me out loud, but can you just think about it? Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, good. So, and just so we know that you can't change your mind or something, can I just get you, like, we have like a pad on paper here with a line on it. Can I just get you to print that that word or what or the name just on that line for me? Okay. Yeah, just hold it up. And uh, if you want to, you can just take that bit of paper and uh, I'm gonna keep looking this way. And okay. Have you got it? Yeah. Yep. Can you take that one bit of paper for me? You can show it to your cameras and stuff so they can get it. And uh, All right. I'm going to keep looking this way. Okay. And uh, then you can fold it up and then as small as it can go. Yeah, so I don't I don't see what it is. Okay. Can, can I turn around? Yeah. You okay, good. You're right. Good, good, good. So, and just, just so that we know, so that everybody listening knows, we haven't set anything up, right? I haven't told you anything. No, word. no, no. This, this is the, all. This is something that you original. You, you, you've just thought of, right? And and now your viewers on the on the camera, and so, yeah, you hold on to it. You hold okay. on to it. Yeah. So um, and they know what word you're thinking of as well, right? So obviously, I can't. You can't cheat at this point and change your mind, right? right. Excellent. So, uh, 
So this doesn't work with everybody, but I'm gonna try this try this with you, okay? So I'm gonna try to try to get some some information from you as well, right? And if I can, I'll try to tell you what this word is, okay? okay. So what I want you to know, what I want you to do for me for now. It doesn't matter if it's a word, a name, or anything. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, all that, okay. yeah, just I'm gonna, like I said, it doesn't work with everybody, but if you go along with it, it, it this should work, okay? okay? So what I want you to do right now, whatever whatever you wrote down, I want you to see it sort of like far away into the distance for me. So I want you to put it in the back of your mind, all right? So just keep it in the back of your mind, all right? So you see it really really small. All right. So what I want you to do is to bring it from the back of your mind to the front of your mind now. And as you're doing that, you see it getting larger and you see it just coming into focus and like it's on a cinema screen right in front of us and you can just turn up the contrast and you can see it clear. Okay. So I can tell you right now that that is a name you're thinking of. You're thinking of a person? Uh, a girl. You can nod your head if I'm right or not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, I would... Family? Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, family. Um, and it's a, it's a woman, yes? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, just lift your chin for me. You say nothing out loud. Don't give anything away. Like, like, like I said, we haven't said anything up or anything, but just lift your chin for me. And just every time I snap, you say the name for me in your mind, okay? So just say nothing out loud, but you say... Okay, so I can tell it. Okay, so that's three syllables, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Three syllables? Okay. And it starts with a D? Yeah. Okay. Um, Got it here. Right, right, yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it, yeah. And I, genu I, I still yeah, here. genuinely haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So, just, just really, just focus, just fo focus on the, focus on the letter in the name form. Just think, th think of the letter only. Okay, so just get, get the letter right here in front of me. Okay, um, there's an R. There's an R in the name. Yeah, there's an R in the name. And, yeah. and, and, and folks, yeah. I folded up this piece of paper <laughs> and I have it here right. in between my fingers, holding it tight, so yeah. he, he can't. Exactly. So, right, so. Just tell me what the name is, okay? Just see it, just see it, just just really, really see it right in front of me. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, it starts with a D. Um, oh, there's an A at the end. Oh, it's uh, that's it. Uh, uh, Diara, is that's that it? it? Diara, that's, that's, it. that's the one. That's it. <laughs> that's Excellent. it. That's Brilliant. it. Okay, Brilliant. folks, and the paper is right here. And you can show them again okay. if you want to. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, there you see. go. <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> okay, so. All yeah. right. And like I said, that doesn't work 100% of the time, but usually no, if, you, but if you go along with it, it Yeah, it, it's, it happens. but it, this this is neat, you know, yeah. because this is, this is okay, we got someone here mm. calling. Good day, caller. And we got Johnny Damon on WSTX mm. doing magical stuff. I'm listening. It's like, I know that Penn and Teller used to reveal how they did stuff. Do you do that? Do I, do I reveal? I mean, the thing is, I... There is really nothing to reveal in that in that last bit. I mean, it 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 literally is just creating uh, connect the dots in my mind. So I'm looking for for clues that that Doug is trying to give that Doug is giving away right now. And and most of the time, people will tell you what they're thinking just if you know what to look for and you pay attention for it. So I mean, you know, Penn and Teller, they I I know them very well and we work together. They only reveal stuff if the method is cooler than the actual trick. Well, that you know? used to be their hook. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, that was, that was, I mean, cool. And I went and saw them live. Yeah. Because I saw them on TV. And when I went up to the stage, yeah, I was like, we got to go see these guys. And my brother was like, who's oh, that? You know. Mm -hmm. So it was very cool, too. Excellent. Um, so this is going to be online? Yeah. Well, the video, this, this video is going to be online, of course. And, of course, if you feel like having some uh, a different evening, you could go down to Divi on Sundays at 8 o'clock in the evening. And he does a thing there in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, what, it sounds, what, sounds like fun. Actually, yeah. what, what, what's your name? I don't give my name. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, can, can we try something with you over the year? Oh, sure. I can't hear you really good, though. Okay. Can you, but can you, can you I hear can me, hear though? I good enough. Okay, good. But, uh, okay, so can I, can I get you to do this for me, all right? Um, so, I have my phone in front of me right here. And on my phone, do you know, like, on, how on your phone, Doug, you can, uh, you can make sort of like a voice memo? Yeah. Yeah, and you can, you can set it in there right so what I've done is I've made sort of like a prediction on my phone and I'm gonna try it with her right now all right okay. so it is what I'm gonna do um, can I get you right now uh, on the phone can I get you to think uh, I'm gonna get you to think of a playing card for me all right so right now what I want you to do is to just clear your mind and just let a playing card come to mind okay so you're gonna th there's clubs hearts spades and diamonds okay you're just gonna think of your favorite suit and then so you have you do you have a suit in mind Okay, so you have one. Excellent. So, 
And also, there's Ace through King. So you're just gonna let your, your mind scan across the cards. Ace through King, and then just settle on one right now. So do you have do you have a full card in mind? Yes. Excellent, great. So that card that you thought of there is a free choice, and there's no way that you think that I could have influenced you. Is that correct? Correct. And that's that's the interesting bit, Doug, is this thing does seem like it's a free choice, right? You know what? Can, um, we have the... Uh, we have my phone up here, so you know that Doug can't, and we're watching the, the the phone as well. So can I just get you to name out loud for me the card that you're thinking of right now? Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts, right? And a free choice. Yeah. Absolutely. Free choice, right? So Doug, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just unlock my phone right here. And then you can see if I just... Can you just tap my phone up right there for me? You can just open it up. Yeah, the phone up down there. No, just, I can't do yeah. that. No, no, Doug is going to do it. Doug is going to do it. Where, which one? Yeah, yeah, this one right here. Yeah, just open okay. it up. And can you see there's one message in there that I've put in there yesterday that says card prediction? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I made that yesterday. Okay. Uh, and, you know, you can see genuinely it's in there, right? And there's only one message, right? Okay. Excellent, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to mic this up right here so that we can listen to it. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just play it and we'll listen to the message. Alright, so during tomorrow's show, I'm going to ask somebody to think of a playing card. The card that they name will be the Ace of Hearts. Hey! Alright, and, and he, okay. Okay. I saw him, he didn't do any funny stuff with yeah. the phone. That is cool. <laughs> he didn't And you do can it. see, genuinely, I've made that one message in there. Right, so where's yeah. the video of this going to be? Uh, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah, we yeah we, we have we so have. What all are we looking for? Oh, go to the uh, Douglas Canton channel. Okay. And uh, it'll it'll be there. WSTX and and the the date and the name of the show. That's great. All right. Excellent. Thank you so and much for calling. And your name is Johnny da Damien. Johnny Damon. D A E M O N. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope people come and discover you. And you're here, like living here and. Yeah, I, I try to be here. I have family here, so I try to be here as much as possible. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. That was cool. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Take care. That was great. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. That was great. Genuine. You know, and um, y you, you brought something home for me because one of the things that, that, that we've done is to transform this show into just into more than just the airwaves because you know when you hold a radio show all that happens is that you project to who's listening then and there mm -hmm. and then it goes out and unless you're going out past the 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 the, the, the solar system the and ether. beyond you're not going <laughs> to hear you're not going to hear it again yeah, yeah. uh but by by recording it and putting it on youtube we make it so that people can can share it especially a lot of people who have to to work and they're not able to listen at a particular time but you brought it home how never underestimate what you can do right. with a particular medium because all of a sudden now I look at the effectiveness of what you did as far as listening mm -hmm. it was effective but now we also have it visual right for somebody to be able to see exactly right. brilliant yeah, I um, I I I'm not gonna even tell these young people where I'm taking them. I'm gonna just invite them out and and, and bring them down there to see, okay? Because that's, usually, that's that's how I love to work. I love to just spring it on people. Yeah, yeah it's because, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, th I think that's where magic works, though. Mm -hmm. I think because my sort of definition of magic is is kind of different from everybody else's too. Because I I think that magic isn't something sort of physical it's it's a feeling like happiness or sadness or excitement or anything like there is a magic emotion that you feel and you know that that comes around whenever something good happens but you can't explain it so if you don't study for a test at all and you go in there and you get a hundred that's magic to you if you if you're hungry and you look around just right there and there's a sandwich <laughs> and you don't know how it got there there's that's magic you know, so I, I, it's so it's a combination of disorientation but seduction as well, because you don't know what's going on but you like it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the feeling because magic, nothing is really happening here, right? That's I mean, there's there's methods to getting to the effect, right? So I can get that I that you're thinking of the R. I can influence her to think of the Ace of Hearts, and I can do all these things, but none of that really works unless it's it's reciprocated by you unless it's received by you and then the feeling that you receive from me doing it is magic nothing that I'm doing is magic it's just something internally that you feel yeah okay. exactly 
<laughs> well, I'm, I'm I think so glad that you called Josh and Josh got us here together yeah. today to be able to do this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Good man. All right. I've had fun. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I, having fun. I, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun also. And, and you know, I, I have nothing but well wishes for you in terms of your career mm. and where this is going to take you and, and, and put you on, on the map, you know. And uh, I, I reflect back again on the, the movie, Now You See Me, Now You Don't. And, um, you know, some, some movies are, are very shallow. You start watching them and you could tell where it's going. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about that movie is that anytime you kind of thought you knew where it was going, it yeah. took you someplace else mm -hmm. and realized that you have to come in with an, with an open mind instead of necessarily giving in to every suggestion along mm -hmm. the way of where this is going because yeah. it's, hey, I thought we were going to China. Why are we in Australia? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, in, in that movie as well, the, the director, he did a brilliant job at putting you know, genuinely clever magic principles and not just special effects into the movie. You know, that bit where there, there's a bit in the movie, if you've seen it, um, where they hide a safe behind a mirror mm -hmm. and they sort of like reflect the entire room, room around the mirror itself. So it looked like the room was empty when the safe was always in there. Mm -hmm. It's just a mirror in front there. And um, that's a genuine magic principle. I mean, it, it that's been used on stage countless times. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a huge application of it actually working in real life so this is great and also part two um has a lot more uh sleight of hand stuff i wasn't involved in part two because you know i was, was doing another project at the time mm -hmm. but um part two has a lot of cardistry moves and you know cardistry is just people being able to manipulate cards you know throwing cards and manipulating them in in different ways so there's a there's a lot of all of my friends were, were worked on it except me so Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you say you were involved in, in, in another project, mm -hmm. and I, I know these things are like CIA and, and, and all this other stuff, so <laughs> I, I'm not going to ask you to, to give us all the details, but right. in, in that one statement, you know, it, it, to me it's like, wow, okay, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm glad that you're busy and you're doing things in your mm. craft to the point where it's like you have choices yeah. and, and sometimes compromises because yeah I'd like to be there but mm. I gotta be here yeah. because it, that, that's always positive you're not sitting around waiting you're going out there going after it and good things good things are happening in, in the process. Yeah I really, I really don't like being with nothing to do on my hands I always like I like to be working I like challenges mm -hmm. it's, it's just something stimulating about that for me I mean that's just some personal but Okay. It, I like to be. I like to have my mind working. If, even if I, even if I, I have time off, I'm I'm in you know at my desk working out new ideas. You know, I I, I limit. I sort of have a a system of mind where I'm always working on ten ideas at a time. Well, and so you know it. So I have this this thing that I do where early in the morning when I when I wake up and I'm still in that sort of dream state, I have like a pad, pad and a pen right next to me, and as soon as I wake up, I just jot down three ideas. And it's sometimes it's, it's just it's just a mess, you know. Sometimes it'll be like a bus and two people, or like it'll it'll be like a dolphin, or like. But you know, sometimes it the ideas can come can come to you from from doing those visual exercises, and then you work on them. And it and it's important, I, I think, that what what you do and having a paper and jotting it down, mm -hmm. because sometimes the smartphone isn't there, mm. and the extra steps involved to get your phone and and put something in just to, to take advantage of that immediate yeah. time and mm -hmm. write it down because mm. sometimes that that makes a difference because five seconds later mm. it's like you wake up from a dream mm. and you remember it fresh right. in your mind but exactly. if you wait five minutes you may not be able to to remember everything that uh, that was in there and there's something about writing something down for me is it's I you know you can put it on your phone and, and everything like that like you know if I'm out that's what I do you know I'll, I'll even record myself if I have an idea but um there's something about writing something down and also like doing like a little picture next to it. Um, it's, it, it sticks in my head more. It's just part of my creative process. You know, it's, it's that whole idea. All right. <laughs> well, I want you to remember this music because you got to come back. Mm. Okay. So, Anytime, I'd love to come back. All right. Yeah. Great, great. This is fantastic. And uh, I, I'll make sure I have a, a few people here with me to also watch and, mm. and uh, make sure that they can attest to the fact that no, he didn't do anything. It was. <laughs> Real. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good well, man. Johnny, I really yeah. want to thank, thank you, you for coming out here yeah. and being here on really? Reflections, and look forward to seeing you live at DV and maybe at Lost Dog sometime. <laughs> but definitely at DV, I'm yes, bringing sir. the young people down there yes, to check sir. it out. Okay. Sunday at eight.
WSDX, folks, you heard it here, and you're going to see it here. We had a very magical moment. Until next Thursday, hey, do a nice turn for someone. Be positive. See you then.